There are many ways to increase the conversion rate for your WooCommerce store. And one of the many ways is by placing sticky add to cart button for your WooCommerce store. This particular feature comes in handy when the content of the single product pages of your website are very long. And this is what we will achieve by the end of this tutorial. You can either place it on top or at bottom. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add sticky add to cart button for WooCommerce. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So this is the website on which I want to have sticky add to cart button. And to do that, I'm going to install a plugin. So I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the set plugins are set for sticky add to cart. There are so many sticky add to cart plugins. I've tested many of them. And in my opinion, this particular one stands out. And that is WPC sticky add to cart for WooCommerce by WP Clever. I go ahead and click on install now. I activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. After installing the plugin, it will start working immediately. You don't need to perform any settings. However, it will give you default settings. If you want to perform some other settings, you can go to the plugin settings. First of all, let's take a look at what we'll get with the default settings. So I'll go to the shop page of my website. Upon hovering on the name of my website, I can click on Visit Store. I'll open that in a new tab. Now, if I click on any of these products, the moment I begin to scroll, you see that the sticky Add to Cart button displays. Perfect. So this is what we'll get with the default settings. The sticky Add to Cart button will place at the bottom of the page. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Now let's go back and perform some other settings. Let's see if we can take it to other locations of our product page. To do that, I go back to the back end of my website. I can go ahead and click on settings under the plugin or I go over to WP Clever right here. Then I click on sticky add to cart. Under settings, we go over to position. At the moment, it is set to bottom. You can drop down the arrow and choose whichever location you want. So if I want top, I go ahead and select it. Then I click on update options. Now if I go back to the product page and refresh, you see that my sticky add to cart button is now on top. You are not seeing it clearly because I've logged in into my website and I'm having the administrative bar on top, which means users will see it clearly as we saw at the bottom part of the page. But I think placing it at the bottom part of the page looks cool. So I take it back to the bottom of the page like this. You can also go ahead and work with offset for top and for bottom. Next is show quantity. Do you want users to be able to increase or decrease quantities? At the moment, it is set to yes. You can make it no if you don't want users to increase the quantity using the sticky add to cart button. I'll leave it as yes. The rest of these features are not useful at the moment. They will only become useful when you install these respective plugins. I'm not going to cover those in this tutorial. I'll go ahead and update the options. Next, I'll go over to localization. So what text do you want to see on the add to cart button? So if I want, I can say buy now. Now go ahead and update the options. And finally, we have essential kit. These are other plugins by the same developer, and we are not going to be going into any of them. Now, if you go back to the front page of our website and refresh, now our sticky add to cart button will be at the bottom and the add to cart button will now be buy now and you will have the opportunity to increase quantity. Perfect. So as you are increasing the quantity from here, 
it will affect what you have on the main single product page so if i increase the quantity by one you see that here it has changed if i change it to three you see the effect perfect so with this feature you can increase the conversion rate of your woocommerce website let's test it out so if i click combine now i can go ahead and view the cart then i can proceed to checkout and this will bring me to the checkout page perfect so that's it on how to add sticky add to cart button for woocommerce all right guys i hope you found value in today's video if you did kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know keep watching and i will see you in the next one